Hey, Iwana parents. I'm Pastor Jody, one of the children's pastors here at Oakwood, and I want to thank you for tuning in. The goal of today's video is to make Awana the greatest experience that it can be for your child and you as a family. Awana is a great discipleship tool, but you're going to want these tips to make it effective. First, just a reminder, Awana stands for Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed. That's inspired by the verse 2 Timothy 2.15. I also want to remind you of Oakwood Kids mission statement, which Oakwood Kids exists to make fully devoted followers of Christ and to help equip parents to do the same. That's why we have brought Awana onto our Wednesday night programming schedule. So let's talk about those helpful resources. The first thing you're going to want to do Wednesdays when you bring your child is you are going to want to pick up our Welcome to Awana quick start guide. You will find those at any of our information counters. Now, the other thing is if you have a clubber in all kinds of different groups, for instance, our youngest group is the Cubbies, our kinder through second grade is Sparks, and our third through fifth graders, well, they're truth and trainers. We have amazing leaders that are here to help serve you and your children every Wednesday night. In fact, to help explain how our youngest group works, let me introduce you to Miss Paula Means. Come on up. Thanks, Pastor Jody. Hi, parents. I am so excited to be your Cubby Director. Awana Cubbies is a two-year weekly club program for preschoolers in the two years prior to kindergarten. Our purpose is to help your child take their first little steps on a lifelong journey. In the Bible, parents are instructed to teach their children about God's Word, little by little, day by day. The Cubbies program is designed to help leaders and parents in this critical role. Your Cubby will begin with the Bear Hug brochure. This is a two-night booklet that every Cubby must finish before they begin their handbook. In your handbook, every week you will have a verse and a chance to earn a bear hug. All children work on the same bear hug at the same time. If your child has missed a week of club, be sure to check the schedule or, or calendar for the current week's bear hug. After completing a current bear hug, work on making up any missed bear hugs. There's also a level B in our handbook. Under the apple tree may be done after the current bear hug and any be missed bear hugs are completed. When you complete an activity and sign it, your child will receive an Apple sticker for their book. Here's some fun tips on how to help your cubby. You can make sure you set a particular time, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. Check your schedule and your calendar for your bear hug for the next week. Re read each week's bear hug to your child and follow the instructions. Listen to your child recite the verse and sign your name. Be encouraging. Cubbies will all recite the same bear hug each week. Some good ways to memorize. Repeat the verse over and over to your child. Break the verse up into short phrases. Explain what the verse means. Show them how the verse relates to their life. These are just a few tips on how you can help your cubby be successful. We are so excited to be starting again. We can't wait to see your cubby. Thanks. Jody, do you have something else to tell us? All right, Awana parents. You just got some great information from Ms. Paula about how our Cubbies program works. What I want to do before I get into the age graded stuff for our older clubs is just to give you a few additional helpful hits. One, the best resource that you are going to get this whole Awana year is the book that your child brings home for their Awana club. This is going to be an effective resource to help you guide them and direct them in family discipleship all throughout the week. Now, it starts with the scripture memorization. You can go over this with your child as much and as creatively as you want. Put post-its everywhere around the house, especially where they're brushing their teeth and they see that verse, right? You can listen to 
Awana verses while you drive. You can check on Spotify for the Awana playlist. You may also find Awana Helps on YouTube as well. Just search Awana. Now, those are a few things that you can do. Like Ms. Paula said, make sure that this is set up as a regular routine or scheduled time for you and your family. Now, I'm gonna jump into how it works for each one of our age-graded clubs. Let's start with the Sparks. All right, parents, I'm all ready to go to talk about Sparks. Sparks are kindergarten through second grade. Now, the way that we've designed our Sparks program is that each age group moves at the same pace through their handbook. For instance, kindergarten starts with their hand glider book and they all move together. The cool thing about this is you know from week to week what section they're supposed to be working on and it helps each kid get the same discipleship process from their leaders. We are all working on the same verse together. This is a win, no matter how you look at it. Now, for our first graders, they're working on their wing runner book. All of our first graders are sitting at the table and they are all working on the same verse together. Our second graders, they're working on the sky stormer. That's the red book. Man, super exciting. They are all working together. Do you get the idea? All of our kids are working on their verses with the same age group all at the same time. This is an amazing process. Moms and dads, the process that we go through here at Awana is a great process, everybody moving together, but we need you to help us at home to keep them on pace. If they are here every Wednesday night, they're working on a verse. If they miss a verse, they can make that up, but we want them to come prepared for this week's verse. The more your children do and complete in Awana, the more excited they're going to be. In fact, we're gonna do our very best to get them through their first couple of sections and they earn a vest. On that vest, you as a parent can proudly put all of their awards and achievements on there. The other thing that we offer our children as a way of incentive is Awana Bucks. We encourage them to behave, treat, and do, and act like Christ would, would by giving them Awana Bucks. They get Awana Bucks for participation. They get Awana Bucks for bringing their handbooks. They get Awana Bucks for wearing their uniforms. They get an opportunity twice a year to redeem those Awana Bucks in our Awana Share Store. So, we want to be encouraging to your kids, and we want to equip you to do the same. Now we're going to talk about TNT! All right, now we're gonna spend a few minutes just talking about TNT. That stands for Truth and Training. All of our third, fourth, and fifth graders are going to be working on the same book together this year. They are all going to, again, be moving together. So, you know from week to week which section they should be working on. Now, they don't have to go in order, so if you miss a club night for any reason, you are going to be coming to club and work on the same section as everyone else. In order to get your first award as a tnt -er, all you gotta do is complete any four sections. We're awarding awards every four sections. Now, TNT kids, this is where it gets cool because each week you're not only memorizing scripture, but our kids are getting an opportunity to hear ways that they can apply that scripture to their life right where they're at. See, these are older kids. They aren't, they're able to read. They're able to do and work on their own. They're able to earn extra credit. They're able to read about missions. So the truth and training, they are really on their way to becoming a fully devoted follower of Christ. All right, parents, thanks for tuning in. I hope that resource was helpful to you, but we've got more. Down below is a link to other helpful resources that will hopefully equip you to be the best discipler you can. Now, remember, if you get stuck or have any questions or concerns about Awana here at Oakwood, don't hesitate to reach out to any of the Oakwood Kids staff. 
Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you guys on Wednesday nights.